keeps an adult probation and parole officer facing repercussions for putting a Confederate flag in his front yard. ABC4 News investigator Jason Wynn shows us why the flag didn't stay up for very long. Mimi Mahomes says she was walking through her neighborhood Monday and spotted something she feels is offensive. When I saw that it was a Confederate flag, I felt like really sad because I knew who lived there. The teenager says she tried to openly talk with the homeowner. The officer, he was outside, he was walking his dog, and I said, hey, like, why do you have this? And he just sat there. He didn't say anything to me. He just had his arms folded, like, yeah, just straight faced. <laughs> Not getting anywhere, she said she left and came back the next day, this time talking to a woman. Then why don't you just have the American flag up? Why, didn't you? why can't we have both? ABC4 News found out the officer works for APNP. Officials with adult parole and probation say the officer has been put on administrative leave pending an investigation. Seth Brisk is the regional director of the Anti-Defamation League. He says some people see the Confederate flag as a symbol of heritage, history, and Southern pride. Others see it as a symbol of bigotry, white supremacy, and extremist groups. We cannot assume the intent of the person who's displaying it. So I think coming to them with a, with um, a certain uh, understanding and saying um, that uh, helping them to understand why it is offensive. This is a teachable moment. The flag was down when I visited the home, but neighbors say they're still intimidated and scared because of it. When you know that it's a law enforcement person, you're like, okay, they're for sure making a statement. And to know that he like works with the public as an APMP officer, like he's around people that you know, he could have an effect on. ABC4 News is withholding the officer's name pending the investigation by his superiors. I'm Jason Wynn, ABC4 News.